You like to roll, we roll, you like to roll. What's in this box right here, it could possibly end up in your next smartphone. It's also probably one of the most powerful devices I've ever featured here on the channel. The very latest from Qualcomm, the new Snapdragon 8 plus gen one it's scheduled and slated that chip to go into a number of upcoming flagship devices but we've got a device here packing that chip early so that we can run some benchmarks and find out just how much quicker the 8 plus gen one is going to be from the 8 gen one a special smartphone from qualcomm which we can test today now of course this is not a retail device at all it's only for uh, special purposes like this one. And pretty much the only way that you're gonna know that something special is going on here is because of the Qualcomm Snapdragon logo on the back. Qualcomm will make these devices as kind of a demo of the capabilities of their upcoming hardware. But really, this video is not about the hardware, it's about what's inside this particular device. Pre-installed on here are a number of benchmarking applications, including 3 d Mark and Tutu, Geekbench, and some games as well, which help to showcase the improved capabilities of the 8 Plus Gen 1. Now, of course, this is their premium T chip and it's adding boosted performance, 10% better CPU performance and up to 3.2 gigahertz peak speeds, up to 10% faster GPU clock speeds. And then the other one, which may be even more important to you is enhanced battery life. The Cryo CPU and Adreno GPU both boast up to 30% improved power efficiency. At the SOC level, you're getting an overall 15% power savings. You can game for nearly an hour longer. You can get 80 plus minutes of additional video streaming, 5.5 hours of extra talk time or 25 minutes for video chat, 50 plus minutes of social media browsing and 17 plus hours of music playback. Now those are improvements over the previous generation flagship chip. You've already got big numbers. That's the extra you're getting in the plus model. Now this particular chip is already confirmed to be inside of a number of upcoming smartphones that aren't on the market yet, but will be very soon. From familiar brands like ROG, Black Shark, Honor, IQ, Lenovo, Motorola, Nubia, OnePlus, Oppo, Red Magic, Redmi, Vivo, Xiaomi, ZTE. And those are gonna start to be available in Q3 2022. Let's get down to the brass tacks. How much faster is this than the previous version? Let's pop open some benchmarks and compare this to device to a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. All right, so we ran a number of different benchmark applications here, and we started with 3D Mark. On the left, we have the Qualcomm device packing the new 8 Plus. And uh, as you can see, they're doing the same sequence here. And basically what's going on is you have a loop taking place. This is the way 3D Mark works. It's running it through uh, a set of tests that are meant to simulate a 3D experience that you'd be having in a game or something like that. You can see the FPS represented in the bottom left corner, the number of total frames, the time it takes, and then the loop, the current loop that it happens to be on. So here we are at 10 out of 20 total loops. Now I can already tell that consistently the FPS on the new 8 Plus Gen 1 is performing better than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. It looks like it's a pretty significant margin. So I'm seeing like 15, 16, 12 FPS on the left-hand side, pretty consistently a lower figure on the right-hand side. This is the Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. That's what you were just watching. The best loop score for the 8 Plus, 2839 compared to 2568. The lowest loop score, quite a bit lower on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Stability also improved up to 79% on the 8 Plus. Pretty much improvements across the board. So here's how performance changes under load, or this is what they're calling a stress test. You have a little bit more stability, slightly flatter line on the 8 Plus. So it looks like the uh, 8 Plus had slightly lower battery at the beginning of this particular test, starting at 85% and then going down to 69, whereas the S22 Ultra went from 95% down to 83. Uh, temperature was a little bit higher on the uh, low end on the S22 Ultra, 27 degrees Celsius up to 40 compared to 22 to 41. And then of course we can see those frame rate scores, lowest it ever dipped 
on the 8 plus 10 frames per second with a high of 23. I feel like a weatherman at the moment. The frame rate on the S22 Ultra, on the other hand, six FPS on the low end and 19 on the high end. FPS is the part that matters to you. You wanna max out these games. You wanna play them to their full potential. Well, take a look at that. The 8 Plus is gonna offer some enhancement for sure. Next up, we've got Geekbench. Now this particular benchmark is gonna be a little bit less exciting to watch. Uh, we've sped it up to 5X in order to kind of get through it more quickly. No fancy graphics on screen. Uh, this looks at the CPU performance pretty much exclusively. Things like text compression, uh, HTML5. It's simulating everything you might do on your smartphone. Speech recognition, machine learning. Mm, the S22 Ultra not finished yet. Oof. Yeah, a little bit more detail on how that final score was reached in a few different categories, including text compression, image compression, and then those enhancements in multi-core. All right, next up we have Antutu Benchmark, which is the most fun of the bunch as far as uh, saying the word Antutu. Again, kind of like a video game style benchmark. It's running some graphics. There's obviously a number of tests in here like those other benchmark applications. We can already see a, a lead for the plus model here, getting through things more quickly. GPU tests we're still on, then we'll move to memory, CPU, and so forth. Ooh, look at this. Sorting, scrolling, love it. These are the things I do on my smartphone and I like to do them quickly, all right? Keep in mind, these are benchmarks, right? So take them for what they are, it isn't everyday use. An everyday use test would be superior, but they do serve a function in the sense that both phones are kind of dealing with the exact same workload and they can offer some level of insight. It's not gonna be exact to your daily use, but they can offer some level of insight. Defeated 99% of users, unbelievable. Of course, we're still waiting for the S22 Ultra the crazy part here is what you can still pay for an S22 Ultra at this moment right now. Like that's a very top tier phone. Now we're just talking about the chip. I mean, you're still gonna have a variety of devices to select from that are gonna carry the 8 Plus, but the S22 Ultra is kind of a nice comparison for us here because it does at the moment uh, represent one of those top range devices that a lot of people are familiar with and is very high performance. As expected in Antutu, the new uh, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is superior in pretty much every category. Yes, absolutely in every category, whether we're talking CPU or GPU. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to crack this device open. I'm not allowed to show you the inside of it. It is not a thing that you're actually able to buy at the moment. Instead, it's meant as a showcase for what to expect with Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, because of course you're gonna be seeing it shipping in a number of devices you'll probably be interested in uh, very soon. I used to be so obsessed with this game. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Have you never played this <laughs> <laughs> My skills. I didn't re realize the music was so relaxing for this. <laughs> Man, I thought I was gonna get like a chance. I thought I was gonna get like a chance, you know? Why is the police chasing me anyway? Uh, what did I do? What? Holy, what is this about? Let's collect the coins. You could probably double tap around. Maybe not. Oh no, you should have double tapped. <laughs> what do you mean double tap? Oh! <laughs> what? I think you just bought your way. How do I buy? I didn't give him my. You jump extra high. What? I don't know what happened there. Is it ever over? It gets more and more challenging faster and stuff.
<laughs> and on that note, you like a AI tool. So this device came with so many different benchmarking applications pre-installed. They're like, yep, yeah, benchmark away. Do all the benchmarks, no problemo. And this was one of the favorites. Image classification, object detection. This is all obviously from, you know, a computational perspective, fairly complex stuff. And you can see it just ripping through recognition here, object recognition, car, car, car. Uh, this one's called super resolution. And essentially it's like a sharpening filter being applied to a series of images. You can see it happening in real time here. Now again, this is not real world, but it is a simulation. It is examples of a number of things that you could do in the real world. You could do on a frequent basis, and obviously this new device is gonna do it quicker than the previous version. So does this tell me what my score is relative to anything else or no? Score equals good. There you have it. It is the new Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 from Qualcomm. This is the very first time I have set my hands on it and probably the first time you've set your eyes on it and its capabilities. And chances are you're gonna want this chip in your next device.